Ah, I saw two top teams. That's what I saw. What does that say? That was the that. What does that say about City, Tottenham, Aston Villa? Nothing. Uh, yeah, top teams as well, and others as well. They maybe had a little bit lesser points, but they are there as well. I saw just two really good football teams. Um, a really good game, super intense. Um, top, top, top moments for us. Could have won, maybe should have won. In all the interviews I had so far, and then, um, I forgot completely the Trent's crossbar. So that's why I said, ah, I'm not sure, maybe uh, they could have, but with that chance we should have won the game. So um, I only got realized that when I had the radio interviews. <laughs> um, yeah, besides that, just they had a better start. We came back super back in the game, um, and it was outstanding. I, I think everybody felt it. It was brutal. It was re really nice to see what we can do um, all together. And um, the reaction to the one, it was fantastic. We were super intense, nearly too intense. Um, we, I, we tried massively to, to, to influence from outside. That we have to calm down in moments, that we have to, to mix it up a little bit better. That's what we did. Created really good moments with that. Scored a wonderful goal, one of the maybe the best pass I saw in my life, which is really I saw I saw a few. Um, and second half we started extremely well. I'm not sure if it's directly from first segment, but then we had them really, we had them where we want to have them, and, and our high press was absolutely exceptional. They lost. It there a little bit, and we we should have created better chances with with the the high ball wins we had there. That's definitely something we should improve if we have a similar situation again. Yeah, then we have that massive chance from from Trent, um, and then we are, we are not that much in control anymore. And that's obviously the moment when they are directly back again in the game. So they are really good. Um, and really physically strong, I have to say. They're all positions, wow. It's a good football team. Thank God we are as well. That's why it's 1-1. Jürgen, what did you make of the incident in the first half? Martin Erdegaard looked as though he was playing basketball. And it didn't look as though he even went to the It seemed like handball. Did you make <laughs> I didn't see it in the game. I saw it after the game. I think we all agree, of course, handball. But let's. I wait. I always wait until Mr. Dermot explains me the next day what what's really the case. He will find a way to explain me that it was not handball. I don't know. For it, I, that's for me a clear handball. I have no idea if that would have influenced the result or not. I don't even know exactly when it was because I only saw it after the game and not in the game. Um, and yeah, that's it. Are you surprised at the challenge from Saka? I was um, I was too close to really see what happened to be one hundred percent honest. So the problem that I had in that moment was I thought, okay, I'm I'm fine. So I was just um, assuming that because he's fine as well, and he's actually opposite of fine. He broke his collarbone at least. Uh, that's really bad for us, obviously. Um, yeah, I cannot say anything about that. You have to judge that, not me. I don't know. Uh, Jordan, I wanted to ask you about Lucho. Did you have the chance to talk to him? How is he? Is does he has an injury? Lucho, yes? I hope not. He has pain. It was knee on knee, um, and in that moment we wanted to change twice, uh, and then Lucho was down, and we actually first wanted to wait if maybe Lucho has to come off, but then we decided now we to change all three because uh, we can come on. Let's we don't have to wait how Lucho is, and that's what we did then. So. Um, Lucio told me little pain. Physicists were, were not too concerned, but you never know. And we play in three days, and you never know how quick the turnaround is. So we have to see. Don't know.